Joining me live in the studio is the ambassador from Ukraine, Vassil Moroshnichenko. Thanks for your time. You've told us here many times you want those tanks. Now they've offered them. But why did it take so long? Look, we're very grateful to Australian government for providing those tanks uh, to Ukraine. And I would like to thank specifically uh, Prime Minister uh, Antony Albanese, Deputy Prime Minister Rich Marles, and the entire security committee for, for their leadership in, in providing the tanks to Ukraine. Uh, they are essential for our own defense. Uh, they will be rolled out in land defenses for Ukraine. As you know, the front line is uh, over a thousand kilometers long. So the tanks will play a major role in help, helping us to defend it. And of course, the decision of the government, we, I respect it when it was made. Uh, I understand previously it was still considered and there were different considerations that had to be taken into account. But what's important is that this uh, gift has been made. Well, I did ask Pat Conroy, the interview coming up a bit later, he says that they had to work out the transition for our own army from the Abrams, which you're going to take to the new model, which have been acquired. Uh, is that a reasonable explanation? I think I think it's a reasonable explanation. The good thing about these tanks is that we already had some of those uh, types from American government, and we already have some troops who've been trained how to use them. So you're ready, so, ready so to go. So we are ready to go, and uh, and they will be provided to those already who know to, how to operate them. And, you know, in addition to the training, which is also provided to Ukrainian soldiers in the UK by the Australian ADF, uh, it, 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 it is a significant contribution uh, to Austra Ukraine's defence. There's been some some, um, some doubts as to what the, uh, the US will do into the future beyond the presidential election. President, the former President Donald Trump did meet with your president uh, during this campaign. Are you encouraged by what you're hearing now from the Trump campaign, regardless of who wins in November? Do you think that support will continue for Ukraine? We believe that uh, support for Ukraine is an American national interest. It's, uh, it's, it does matter who wins these elections, but it, it is in the interest of, of American government to make sure that Russia does not prevail in Ukraine. Uh, therefore, we hope that we will engage with whoever is elected. It's up to the American people to decide uh, who, who will be there. And look, um, Ukraine's capacity to defend ourselves uh, it depends and is reliant on, 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 on the support from, from the countries who believe in democracy, from the countries who believe in the um, integrity of national borders and the rules-based order. And America is one of those. And, and we, we are hoping yeah. it will continue. Ambassador, we appreciate your time. A good day, though, in terms of Australia-Ukraine relations. It's a great day, and we am very grateful. And, and Ukrainians will never forget Australian support. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.